The men's 100 freestyle S9 final is next on to Tulsa. Silva goes for Brazil in lane number one. Two Brazilians in the outside lanes. Yamada, experienced Japanese man in lane number two. Tamas Tult in lane number three. Paralympic bronze medalist from Hungary, Brendan Hall. Commonwealth Games medalist last year here in Glasgow. Medalist, gold medalist last night. Alexander Skaliuk. European medalist last year in the 100 butterfly, Federico Morlaki, five times a gold medalist in those European championships, including the title in this one. Leo Latimaki, well, he'd be happy to make the final in this one, more of a 50 sprinter, the Finland swimmer. And Hilo, Brazilian in lane. Skaliuk, can he challenge Brendan Hall? Skaliuk with an arm disability, Brendan Hall with an above knee leg amputation. A real mixture of classifications in this one. This should box. very fast. It was very close in the heats. And Brendan Hall somewhat left on the blocks here with the yellow cap of Australia. Yeah, we'd expect to see that. The single leg start, obviously reduced power from those who have two legs. Going down the pool very well indeed is the Russian shallop. Very, very straight arm style. Coming over, they call that windmill freestyle, trying to spin your arms over. But look at lane three, Tamas Tuk. He is very, very quick round the wall as well. But it is the centre lane, Skalachuk of Russia, who is bringing this home now. Brendan Hall, I think he's going to struggle to get on terms. He may do his weakness at the start and at the turn. As they come now into the final 15, Paul. Strong in the closing stages, a 400 meter specialist, but I'm not sure if he's going to catch Skaliuk, the Russian, in lane number five. It looks like it's gold for Russia. Skaliuk will take this one. It's gold for Skaliuk. It's silver for Morlaki, who came up alongside Skaliuk in the closing stages and bronze to Brendan Hall. But it is gold to the Russian, and maybe that is a little bit of a shock. We expected. Morlaki or Brendan Hall to feature in that one, but there is Skaliuk trying to look up to the scoreboard there, which is 50 metres away from him, but he's pretty sure that he's got the gold. There's Morlaki, there's Brendan Hall, disappointed. Well, Skaliuk really took it by the scruff of the neck, didn't he? And great, great start there, you can see. He was absolutely electric, came up very, very quickly indeed. In breaststroke, you stay, want to stay underwater a long time. In freestyle, you want to get up to the surface as quickly as possible. And here you can see those hands come over, very, very straight arm, but they go into the water, they're clean, and he finishes full extension. And he's good enough to beat the rest of them. Galio takes the world title, 56.97. More lucky, the silver, Brendan Hall, the bronze.